Where to start with the melting glaciers of Mount Everest or this village in Shangxi province that survives on trucked in water because underground explosions for coal mining have drained the lakes and wells. The coal keeps electric plants humming, but the mining generates pollution that has left farm fields toxic. Nothing can grow here anymore, says farmer Wei Yao. Sinkholes swallow village graves, and the coal dust makes breathing hard. Which is why 400,000 people a year die prematurely from lung disease. And thanks to bad air, China has 16 of the world's top 20 polluted cities. Take Beijing, which just proudly said it now has 3 million cars. So clear days give way to more polluted days. And there's a new danger. Dust storms from the northern Gobi Desert used to hit once a decade. Now it's once a year. Visibility can drop to less than a city block. It's happening because every day the desert is moving a little more south, claiming land left barren by overgrazing or by water shortages caused by too much irrigation. In fact, where I am standing right here, what you might call the leading edge of the desert, is less than 50 miles from downtown Beijing. It is America's inaction on the environment that China uses as an excuse. They say as long as the U.S. doesn't move forward, uh, how can you expect a poor country like China to move forward? And an ill wind is blowing China's bad air to America. Steve Cliff already sees Chinese pollutants on his monitors in Northern California and worries about China's ever-increasing dependence on coal. It stands to reason that if one new coal-fired power plant is built per week, that more pollution will will be evidenced here in the United States. That also means Americans may soon be paying a price for China's polluted rise to prosperity. Barry Peterson, CBS News, Beijing. And